What's up, everybody? Tim Anderson here, a.k.a. Renfell, the Bearded Dwarven Princess, and I am joined by Luke himself, who just got in from a busy day outside hunting down the latest Rings of Power rant for us to sink our teeth into. And today we're going to be looking at the whole concept of Amazon pulled the plug on New Zealand production and how they're such a bad company for doing so and how it's going to ruin the Rings of Power series because it's not filmed in New Zealand when the showrunners themselves have nothing but praise for New Zealand. And it's one of those interesting things that we could take a look at and discuss from a logical point of view and hopefully strip out the emotions a lot of people have associated with this because they have invested so much time into putting New Zealand up as Middle Earth. Um, and it's been promoted that way for a very long time now, ever since Peter Jackson's films. And the original idea was to shoot all of this series in Middle Earth. Or New Zealand, as some people know it. But it didn't quite work out that way. And we're going to talk today about why the showrunners are talking about this. And they just did an interview in this piece um, about kind of what went down, and we're going to look at that and dive into it in greater detail. But before we get going any further, this is the part where I say, hey, thanks to all of our supporters and all of our fans over at Patreon who keep this channel running. It is entirely supported by you. I have been a full-time content creator now for several months, thanks to the support of folks like you who are coming in and joining the channel, super chatting, super thanking, and all those good things, and joining over at the Patreon page. More information at the end of the video about how you too can support this channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon as we move deeper into this. But let's 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 go through this article here real quick. Um, we're basically um, looking at um, as we get closer to the premiere, um, this article came out over at stuff.co.nz. It talks about how um, as we get closer to the premiere, Amazon showrunners and actors have heaped praise on the New Zealand film industry. So why did they leave? It talks about here how Patrick McKay, showrunner for Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, was pointed to a Purnamu hanging around his neck when he talked asked about his time in New Zealand during press interviews at the Four Seasons Hotel in Beverly Hills. Um, it was sent to him as a good luck omen, he said. Um, he said, We're loved. we love New Zealand and we're so incredibly grateful we got to spend so much time there with our families and crew making this show. I said, the New Zealand connection is just as strong for executive producer whose young children had only the day before had on the phone from Los Angeles to their friends in Auckland where they had all... So basically everyone lived there. Um, they had spent a lot of time, several years of time in terms of the pre-production and then the filming. So we have people who had been on the ground for two, three years at that point with their hands and feet deep in the New Zealand film industry and also just kind of building relationships with people. And this is the same place where, keep in mind, not only did Peter Jackson's films kick off, you know, what a workshop and what a, what a digital and everything else, but not only did that happen, if you remember, um, New Zealand leaned into it hard with like all the, with uh, the airline company having everything themed around um, the Lord of the Rings, then the Hobbit films shot there. It brought a ton of interest into New Zealand as a, as a shooting location. James Cameron went and built all of his studios for the upcoming Avatar films in New Zealand. Um, so, you know, the Middle Earth and Tolkien enterprises as a whole have been hugely important to the New Zealand government and the New Zealand film industry. So why did they leave? And especially why did they leave if the showrunners and the executive producers have all these great things to say about New Zealand? Well, if you dig into this a little bit further, and I may have touched on this um, uh, at some point during some of my previous discussion videos, um, but talking about here, um, during the pandemic, the series was thought to be the only production being shot in the world thanks to strict COVID-19 protocols. But in 2021, shortly after production of the first series wrapped, Amazon bosses announced that the remainder of the billion-dollar multi-series contract would be shot in the UK. And I, I know I have talked about this, but I don't remember when. But this all comes down to taxes. It's all about tax breaks. And 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 this is the one point. This is this is one of the few times where I will look at a company like Amazon and say, um, this was a smart decision on their behalf from a business standpoint. From a marketing standpoint, I don't think it was because I think yeah, you would lose some money by you know keeping the production. It would have been more expensive to keep production in, in New Zealand, but you would have continued to build relationships with that film industry and you would have been able to shoot. On a, in amazing locations and to continue to provide gainful employment to hundreds if not thousands of people in the New Zealand film industry. But this literally was a cutthroat business decision. 
It says here, the decision to shift filming was despite a generous rebate offered by the New Zealand government for women there. Amazon said uh, its decision to move away from New Zealand was because it wanted to expand its production footprint and investment in the UK, where many of its actors were also based. A generous rebate from the UK government also came into play. With Variety reporting, Amazon was offered a quarter of production expenditure and location incentives. Think of that for a minute. A 25% tax rebate for location incentives. That's huge. Okay, so this is this is literally Amazon looking at this going, you know, we've got this billion dollar investment and the UK is offering us $250 million in tax rebates and 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 and, and for location stuff that we do in the UK, which means we can save $250 million in production costs, which gives us more money for big name stars. It gives us more money for bigger set pieces. It gives us more money for marketing, better special effects. It gives us more money to do all of these things with. And I know some people are immediately going to jump to the whole, yeah, they're just going to pocket that $250 million. Perhaps that could actually be the case. But with a billion dollar investment like this, you, we know that they are pushing hard for Rings of Power to be this big one trick pony that's going to launch them into superstardom and be their Game of Thrones. So if, from what I understand of production, everything that's going on here is them putting the money back into production and trying to make this show the biggest spectacle that we could ever see um, in the modern age. Not my words, the words that they have put out in the variety articles and everything else. They're trying to build a spectacle unlike anything that's ever been seen before. And they're trying to launch this mega franchise off of the backs of um, Middle Earth and Tolkien. Um, the showrunners have both had nothing but praise for the New Zealand film industry including the actors. But you also have to think about like everybody here was being flown out all the time. Um, so most of their actors being based in the UK, there's a huge production cost with flights and hotels and everything else on top of location fees. And that's something that the UK is offering them in terms of discounts. So it's just, where can we do it on the cheap? You know, what's the cheapest place we can do production now? I'm not Amazon, but I will say this. Um, there is you know, loyalty is great when it comes to business. And if you can afford to be loyal, it's usually a good idea to remain loyal to one location, everything else, continue to build relationships there. But if you're doing bootstrapping, you're going to be going where it's the cheapest place to produce. Amazon has money, so this is still a business decision. For my money's worth, I would have preferred them to stay in New Zealand, but I'm not them. It is what it is. Um... Amazon buses, when Amazon buses hunted high and low for location around the world, New Zealand had enormous appeal from the beginning. This is, who's talking here? Uh, executive producer, Lindsay Weber. Um, she said, uh, da, 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 New Zealand had great legacy, and that was clearly a value, but like any big decision, the studio wanted to do due diligence on looking all around the world, and it, and it wound up being the best place at the moment. It had great locations and wonderful crew, and legacy knowledge, reaching the franchise, the property, so it ended up being a fantastic fit, but only for so long until such time as it became cheaper to produce in the UK. And this is what's really important here. It says news of the shift surprised and disappointed the cast. I had so many plans, said British actor Lloyd Owen. It was a real life lesson being over there thinking I might be here for six years and then so, so annoyed at myself that I didn't take more opportunities and added Charles Edwards, who had also had a role in his series. Of time. It's just sad, but obviously decisions like that are taken. We know nothing about it, but we don't know why it happened. And they literally just get told, go here, do this, um, so on and so forth. Um, Catherine Bates said the series move was a surprise and we do see it as a loss. Any production that we can't secure in New Zealand is a loss. However, since that time, there have been many other international productions that have come here and are continuing to inquire. There's quite, quite a strong interest in New Zealand. So um, it sucks from the standpoint of this is a show that could have continued the legacy that Peter Jackson's films started, but it's also understandable from a business standpoint. As much as we love to hate on Amazon, and we can continue to hate on Amazon for different things, um, at the end of the day, hopefully people can understand that while this was a business decision that we don't necessarily always want to agree with, it was a smart business decision from a money-saving standpoint. And it very well could be said that the decision to move things to the UK could allow them to make 
a bigger, you know, bigger set pieces, better actors, you know, more famous actors, so on and so forth, get more bang for their buck if they're saving $250 million in production. That remains to be seen, though, because we still don't know what's going to happen with this show or anything else. Uh, don't forget, if you want to support the channel like the rest of our amazing supporters, check the links below. You can find lots of different ways to uh, help out here on the channel, and I hopefully I'll see you in the next episode, everybody. Until next time, stay safe and happy watching.